Hello my friends, it is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. Today I am outside of Hobby Lobby, ready to go in and share with you all of the amazing Christmas decor. I probably won't show you every single thing because let's be real, there's a ton of it at Hobby Lobby, but I definitely wanna show you my favorites. I have not bought anything from there. I've been there once where I've just kinda looked really quickly at what they had and there's some super cute stuff. There's also some new items this year which I am very excited about and we're going all out this year on my channel. I've already shared a Walmart shop with me so I can link that above if you've missed that one. Today is Hobby Lobby and I definitely have more on the way so definitely hit that subscribe button. Stick around. Let's head on in to Hobby Lobby. Christmas time, I light up a fire, gather friends and family. As of this week, everything in the Christmas section is now 50% off. It was 40, so now it is at the best discount. You can get it until it goes on clearance after the holidays, but lots of rows to look at. I started kind of way towards the back in the farmhouse decor area. I'm always drawn to these few rows over here, but these Christmas trees are one of my favorites. I actually picked one up last year. I just love the little galvanized tins that they come in. They also have a little section of just buckets that you can actually add those burlap trees into. Loved these. Working harder for every year when the Christmas spirits all over the town. They have a great selection of mini wreaths this year, all kinds of different options, whether you like glittered or snow covered, a little bit for everybody here. I really liked these mini ones right here. I think these might be new. I haven't seen them before, but I did think those were very unique. How they did it then, back in Bethlehem, the legend came to life. I'm waiting for Santa to come. This collection looks new to me. It is like a more of a modern type look to it, black and white and some grays as well. I really liked these little cement houses, definitely something you could use year round around your house. And of course, you know, I love these pillows. Very chunky and knit looking material to them. Also by this collection were these glass terrariums. They had some flock trees on the inside. With the sale, they were about $40. Very pretty though. I really love these ceramic houses and churches. Perfect for a village if you like to set those up. Just so pretty. And lots of new signs over in this section that was very fun to look at. It's cold again, but I know we'll be warm. Sitting by the fire and Bye. 
in this row they have the nativity areas i love some of the pieces they have over here this sign definitely caught my eye and i love the message Now I did a very similar video to this one last year where we did some Hobby Lobby shopping and I also shared with you a haul. And as I am shopping today, I'm seeing lots of, you know, things they've had from previous years, but there are definitely some gems in here to be found. And honestly, I feel like they have some really good prices with the 50% off. But anyways, I will have that video linked down below in the description box if you'd like to watch that after this one. I just love a good trip to Hobby Lobby. The great wall of wreaths and garlands was calling my name and I was actually pretty surprised to see some of the decorative wreaths are already selling out. So definitely scoop up one of those if you have your eye on them. But the wreaths are very large. I actually picked one up last year that I used on my front porch. This aisle is perfect for decorating kiddos, bedrooms, or playrooms, or anywhere like that. Lots of Grinch items and all kinds of colorful things as well. And then I also really enjoy looking through their mini Christmas tree section. The kids each have a little tree in their room, so I try to pick up a couple new ones each year. all kinds of different ribbons to choose from, whether for gift wrapping or decorating your tree. I love this one. It reminded me of like a birch log look or the color of it anyways, and it had some glitter to it, which you know I love for Christmas. Now we are in one of my favorite rows and one of the sections I definitely wanted to hit up today and that is the floral picks. Perfect for sticking in your tree to decorate or also making your own wreaths. So I thought I would share with you a few of my favorites. all kinds of different ornaments to look at. Now, ornaments are one of my favorite things to decorate a Christmas tier tray with. You almost have to go into the store though to see them all because there's just rows and rows depending on what your style is. Lots of different options when it comes to stocking holders as well as just stockings and tree skirts as well. There's some fun red and black buffalo check, but there was also some really beautiful black and white check ones that caught my attention. They have a little faux fur on them, super cute. And I also love these chunky knit stockings as well as the tree skirt, so cozy looking. Thank you. 
lots of different tree collars. They're a very good price at 50% off and almost a different style for everybody. I really liked this one. It has like the reclaimed barnwood look that you put together into a little box. So neat. Now I think my store still has some items to stock in this section. It was kind of being shuffled around by the fall decor, um, but still some cute things in here. Love this little cocoa canister for a hot cocoa bar. But I think my favorite are these little utensil holders that are stockings. A big thumbs up if you are enjoying today's video, but I ran across this kind of hot cocoa bar slash Christmas baking section. So many fun different things. These measuring cups are something I picked up last year for my tiered tray. Definitely plan to use them again. They are just too perfect. Lots of fun pillows to choose from, whether it is a Ray Dunn inspired one. These gray ones really caught my eye because I picked those same exact ones up at Kirkland's. They're actually on my bed right now. But all kinds of just different pillows as well as the floral section. Oh my gosh, so much. It's crazy to me. Love this little arrangement. It's in a ceramic pot, but lots of just different picks to choose from, poinsettias any color you can imagine. I love these little pom-pom ones. So many sparkly things, I love it. Of all of the trips I've ever made to Hobby Lobby, which let me tell you, that's a lot of trips. I've never had to push out a cart, but today I actually pushed out a cart full of Christmas stuff. Oh my gosh, so many cute things. So I'm gonna head home and then I will share with you everything that I picked up, at least for my first run. You know, when we start decorating Christmas trees and all of that fun stuff, I will typically buy, come back and buy like a few more picks or ribbon, that kind of stuff. Um, but I have a good start, that's for sure. Totally. I forgot my coffee at home this morning as I was heading out the door, so I'm drinking some like lukewarm coffee. It's not very good, but it's in this cup that you know can't go in the microwave, and I just didn't want to get another cup dirty. So we're just gonna make do. But anyways, it was a lot of fun to get to Hobby Lobby. Now I usually will make at least one more trip as we get closer and I'm decorating. But one of the big things, so this year I really wanted to focus on a few different things. I was looking for a Christmas tree for our bedroom. Also wanted to find some things for the kids' bedrooms, kind of bump up my floral picks or my picks for the tree, and then a few items for my mantle. So those were kind of my focus items for this year, and I think I did pretty good. Hobby Lobby definitely came through. They never disappoint. There's just literally so much to look at. I did not even really look at the individual ornaments because it was like overload of stuff, but yeah. I did well. So the first thing I did buy and why I needed the shopping cart was I did buy a Christmas tree. And I was really torn between the Walmart one and this one, but I ended up going with this tree because it's actually a five foot instead of a seven. I didn't really want anything to be too overwhelming up in our bedroom, just something small right next to my mirror. And so I picked up this five foot tree and it's in just like a big white 
box with no picture, but it's the K tree if you do end up going to Hobby Lobby. But it's an ultra slim Bristol cashmere five foot pre-lit tree. And so I like the height of it one. And then the price, I think it was right around 60, $65 uh, when it was on sale. So I went ahead and got this one and I think it's going to be amazing up in our bedroom. I don't even know if I'm going to put ornaments on it or anything or if I'll just leave it like lit. I kind of just like the simplicity of it in our room. But for years now I've been talking about, I think I'll put a Christmas tree in our room next year, next year, next year. And finally I'm like, Crystal, buy the tree for your bedroom and quit talking about it. So I picked up this tree and then um, I think that's it for our bedroom. Let's talk about hot cocoa bar. So hot cocoa bar, we just started last year doing that. And so I wanted to pick up a couple things to kind of do that again for this year. They had these really cute wooden spoons, like the peppermint. These were $2.99. So everything of course was 50% off. So $1.50 for some wooden spoons. I just thought these would maybe be cute in a little cup add a little festive look to that and then i think these were the last ones or maybe this was just in the wrong place but i found these little coffee cups they say merry christmas and you get eight of them with the lids and they were 250 so i just thought these were so cool like either for guests we also go out and do like the christmas light drive and i know the kids would be so excited if they could bring hot chocolate in these i know they'll love that they'll feel so cool macy always loves like starbucks cups and stuff like that so got that and then the other thing that i'm thinking i will probably use over in that area was one of these little red cups i have a white one out for fall right now so i thought i would just switch it out with those little wooden spoons from fall and just pop them right into this little red guy he was also a dollar fifty so i mean pretty inexpensive they had a ton of these i only saw red though there so i grabbed one of those for like the mini tiered trays they fit perfectly and look so cute I actually believe Kirkland's has this for sale as well and I haven't seen it in person but I am like 99% sure it's the same exact thing and it is this sleeps till Christmas easel and I just thought this was adorable this was the last one that my store had but after the half price it was $15 so I thought it was a pretty good deal it comes with a little like galvanized metal tree magnet and then the kids, I thought, would have so much fun just kind of sliding it, you know, a fun advent calendar. So it's an easel. It opens up like that, and it's a really good size. And there's always, like, just different spots in the house where you could put this. We could even just put it by our front door right here, and that would be fun. The hallway outside of their bedrooms. There's just a lot of different places. So I'm not sure exactly where this is going to end up, but I know they will love this. And it might, it would have actually looked cute like at the base of like the Christmas tree too. I don't know. We'll see. But I thought that was so, so cute. And I'm pretty sure it would have, it's cheaper at Hobby Lobby than at Kirkland. So last time I sat down to record my Walmart video, my neighbor started mowing. Now the next neighbor down is power washing. So if you can hear that, I apologize. It's kind of that time of the year where everyone's trying to get all their stuff done outside. So anyways, we well, talked about that. Let's talk about more kids' bedroom stuff. I did pick up some ornaments for the twins for their bedroom. So I picked up Andrew, these like rainbow colored dinosaurs. They are very into rainbow anything. And he, of course, loves dinosaurs. So just a four pack of little glittery dinosaurs for $2. And then for Ethan, I thought he would like these. These were $3, but they're just like different vehicles or transportation. Had to switch out my battery. We literally shopped till we dropped. My battery was dead and it was full when we got there. Anyways, so I picked up, so in Madden's room, he has like a Santa's workshop theme. So we're kind of going to build on that every year. And I saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I think he would love to have this in his room and he can just switch it out whether he had a good day at school <laughs> or a bad day at school. So it's naughty and nice. This is hearth and hand kind of inspired. They had a bunch of fun ones. I actually have one or two of them and I really like them. So this was $7 and 50 cents. So we do a lot of like the traditional Santa red, green in his room. I don't know. I think he'll like that. And worst case, it'll go somewhere else in our house, but I know the kids will really like that. They'll have, they'll just think it's hilarious that they'll put naughty on there. <laughs> And then for Macy, I didn't really find her too much. I didn't really find what I was looking for there. 
her room's kind of like a winter wonderland, but I thought she would love this little tree. It may end up in her room, but it's, it's metal, but it's really like glittery and sparkly. I think it'll look really cute with a lot of her decorations that we put in her room. So this was $6.50. This I believe was the smaller and then there was a larger one. I just thought those were so, so pretty. So I may go back and get one more so she has like a set of them but i did really like that just a really pretty kind of like stick looking sparkly tree let's talk mantle decor so i'm going to try to do um i want to do some trees kind of not really a forest on our mantle but i wanted to add some trees on each side of our mantle and i saw these they actually had these before but they had two left when I was there today. I'm like, okay, that's it, I have to get them. But I just love kind of the detail on the outside, the trim work. It's kind of like a white washed look, so I think it'll look really nice with our shiplap, but also kind of has the wood tones from the clock that we hang up there. So I actually picked up two of these, one to go on each side of our clock on the mantle, and I think they'll look really pretty, kind of tucked in to the garland. And we'll add some more stuff as well. I'm kind of on the hunt for two more trees, maybe green trees that are a little bit taller than this or even shorter. I haven't decided. I think I just need to go set them up there and play around with it. But I picked up two of these. These were $7.50 to go on our mantle. I'm going to save the floral picks for last. But I did pick up this cute little sleigh. It has some glitter and snowflakes on it and it's um, gray. I just thought it was really pretty. I don't think I own any sleighs. This one is $3. Tiered tray is what I'm thinking. It would be cute. We could just put like a Christmas tree, like a bottle brush tree in there even would be cute. We'll play around with it. Or even I thought Macy would even like this in her little winter wonderland room. So we'll see. Just kind of something, a small item that I was like, oh, I think that's so adorable. I picked up this little wooden snowflake bead. They've had these in previous years and I've seen people hang these off of like tiered trays or even just in like a, a table, like what am I trying, like a coffee table tray. There we go. <laughs> you can just like drape it around or have it hanging off like some books or something. I picked this up thinking it would go like on a blanket ladder, just kind of drape off some of the blankets because we don't use the blankets, they're on the ladder itself. So just to add like a little decorative piece on there. So that's my thinking, but it may very well end up in a tray as well. I'll just kind of wait and see till we decorate. But this was only $3, so I thought, yep, gonna grab that. And oh my gosh, this was so cute. I have to show you this. I don't think they've had this before, but after the sale, this was only $1.50. Merry Christmas, and the trees are sparkly. So beautiful, so beautiful. Obviously this is a really good size for a tiered tray, but you could also just place it anywhere. So I had to pick this up for only $1.50. I couldn't believe it, it's just so pretty. And you guys know, I'm always looking at the small signs to kind of mix things up on our tiered tray. So that was the only mini sign, believe it or not, that I picked up. Let's talk a couple of like mini wreaths. So I had on my list, I was already eyeing this one. So I just went ahead and threw my cart right away when I got there. It was one of these little mini wreaths. So these were $3, no, $4, sorry. These were $4 and they're pretty natural looking. Um, you could put like a candle in the middle, although I don't think it's large enough for a Bath and Body Works, more of like a pillar candle. But this is also great to hang off like smaller things to just, you know, add a wreath or whatever. Um, so I have a couple ideas in mind where this little mini wreath will go. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. And then this one I just thought was kind of interesting. It was also a dollar fifty, also by the mini wreath, but it's just like a very simple, teeny tiny wreath. And I'm always looking for just fun different things to add to tier trays and stuff. So I'm gonna give this a try. But you could just put it around something, and I think it would be really pretty. Or even just around like a candle pillar would be really nice. Ooh, now I just got an idea on like tall candle holders to put these on the top with your candle. So just like a pop of green. Ooh, I might have to go back. I knew I should have grabbed more. I knew it. I don't know. I'm going to think about that. I may go back for a couple more of these. So I just thought those were fun. They had these last year and I was, I had my eye on them and I'm like, you don't need a crystal. Well, it was there and I'm like, I need it. <laughs> 
This is four dollars and fifty cents, but it has like a galvanized metal trim, and it's just a really pretty like. I don't know I just love it I think it's so cute so they had gray plaid or green I went ahead with the green just because I have a ton of red I don't have a lot of like green specific Christmas decor so I just thought that would be a good thing to add into my mix of little Christmas trees and then we're almost to the picks here I picked up this little bucket here I guess this is was this this was the smaller of the two buckets so this one was no this one was four dollars so it's just a galvanized metal bucket. They had it by all of like the burlap like trees, if you know what I mean. But I have a ton of those trees that I've collected over the years. And some of them are just still in the burlap. And so I thought maybe one I could stick in this one to just kind of change it up a little bit. So this is definitely something I could use year round, not necessarily just for Christmas. So I like that idea as well. So that's my thinking is that I'll just pop a Christmas tree in here, but uh, We'll see. You never know. Things change all the time around here. Bought myself some nuts. Yes, you heard me right. I thought these were so beautiful. So these are like a brown glittery ornament and they were only $1.50. $1.50 and those are so pretty. Anything glittery on a Christmas tree just really sparkles. I typically don't buy a lot of stuff with glitter, but at Christmas time, I obviously make the exception because it just really sparkles in a tree. And so I picked up the last three that they had. Someone else I think had the same idea because they were literally almost gone. And then the last pieces are just some of the picks. So I wanted to kind of step up. I've slowly been buying picks last year was kind of the first year i really got into like putting picks into my tree and so i knew this year i'm like i need to like make the decision early so i can get like some of the some of the ones that i really want because they sell out fast so the first one i picked up i was like yes these are my favorite and they're just like these white stick like or flocked i should say and I think these were were look perfect on like a green tree which is what we're gonna do in the living room and so these are only 50 cents a piece. So just some pops of white on the tree I think will be really pretty. So I don't even know how many I got of those. I kind of wish I would have got more for as cheap as they were. I think I got like 10, maybe a few more than that. But for 50 cents a piece, I'm like, yes, we're going to grab those. And then I picked up some of these larger they almost look remind me of like the cranberry color they're more of like a deeper red they're not a bright red but I thought those would be fun to pop in a few spots I have a ton of like brighter red ones so these were a dollar fifty a piece and I think I got honestly I was just like mm, I don't know how many to get so I'll just grab <laughs> I got five of those don't know why and then for the tree topper it's kind of fun to have some picks coming you know out of your topper it just looks really pretty last year again was my first time doing that so I want to do the same thing in the living room and I just kind of thought these were like so unique so these were a little bit more expensive so I only grabbed two of them they were 350 a piece but they're just like these like snow covered pine cones and you can of course spread them out which I will do once we stick them up in the tree but I just thought these would be really pretty up by the topper kind of just coming out of the tree it will We'll figure it out when we do that. I'll share it all in a video. But I got those with that in mind. If not, I can always return them. And then to kind of go along with that at the top, I thought these might be actually be really pretty. I think they'll really sparkle up there. Once you have the light, the tree lights on, it's just so pretty. And so these were $2 a piece, and there were not many of these ones left. I wouldn't be surprised if they're gone now. But I think, I, yeah, I got three of those, kind of thinking that these would go at the top of the tree as well. Yeah, I'll be sharing lots of decorating with me videos, you guys. Oh my gosh, I am getting so excited. The kids are so confused what holiday it is right now. We've been decorating for Halloween and we're already talking Christmas. But I'm going to be decorating earlier than normal this year for very, for a lot of reasons, to be honest with you. Um, but the main reason is that we're home, why not enjoy it? And I would love to get my videos out early to inspire you and just to really enjoy the season. So yes, my plan is I'm going to start sharing or at least start decorating November 1. So you'll start seeing videos shortly after that. We're just gonna work around the house slowly. We'll do a kitchen, we'll do a 
kind of a living room, master bedroom for sure, and I'll just share it all on my channel. So hit that subscribe button, stick around if you're excited for Christmas decorating. I have, I think, one more shop with me, one more Christmas haul, and we're gonna jump right into the decorating. So anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.